idea of this video. We've all uh, seen them um, Mickey Mouse fans what you can buy off uh, eBay for consoles, PlayStation, Xbox. You know, they range from £6 up to about £20. Uh, I've had one on my PS3 a few years back. Still didn't stop it from getting uh, yellow light of death, if that's what it's called, if I remember right. And then it died and I'm having to buy a slim. Anyway, they put about as much draft out as you ask them for. And it's a complete waste of time. So the idea of today's video is, I weren't doing anything. I thought I'd just construct a, a DIY PS4 cooler. Consists of three PC fans connected uh, to a 10 amp, 12 volt PSU. And uh, I've been out of house, so I thought I'd just and I left the machine running so I thought it would be perfect time to test it. So I'm just going to take a read in a temperature at PS4. I can just uh, hang on, get it in focus. That's in Celsius by the way. 41 Celsius. Alright. Uh, what I'm going to do is now, I'm just going to enable my fans, bear with it. Bloody thing, hang on. buzzing away and there's a very old draft so I shall return in about five minutes right we're back it's uh, it's just a little over five minutes actually had to nip to the toilet for a slash uh, I mean put my hand down near the back of it you can you can actually feel it just drawing warm air out of it and Put your hand at the front of your import ports. You can feel it sucking. I mean, I know it's not a seal, but there's some serious. These fans are putting some serious draft. No, I, th I think it's a, uh, a good little uh, makeshift construction of that actually. I mean, that, that that just feels lukewarm. Not like before it were. You could actually feel it radiating off it. I will stick a doodah on it and I'll let it fire up. And just to give you an idea of ambient temperature, uh, let's just put it on net doomer. Net doomer is 23, uh, 24, sorry. And that post is 23, so you get a rough idea of ambient. Uh, Thirty-one and what were it before? It went forties, I believe. So I think it's it's quite a good idea actually. It's going to save it from uh, dying in the long run. Let's be right, who's a flying fuck if it's noisy? Come another year, two, another two years. I mean, machine's two years old now. Who gives a flying fuck if it uh, makes a lot of noise? At least in four or five years, machine will still be running, and all that Mickey Mouse lead free solder at the pump boards these days won't have disintegrated off it like it did with PS3. Well, that's it, me, uh, me DIY PS4 fan. <laughs> 